Hello, uh, welcome to uh, Marketing Analytics course. This is Dr. Shagadu Chatterji from Vijiso IIT Kharagpur who is taking this particular course for you. And uh, today this is week 1, session 5. So till now we have uh, discussed about a little bit of R programming. We have started with vector and then we have also dealt with uh, numeric and categorical vector, factor vectors. We have also talked about uh, matrices and data set. So, till now we have not come into the marketing analytics per se. We are still dealing with basic data uh, analytics. So, whenever you have some data, how to clean them, how to deal with them and etc. So, today I will actually bring in a little bit of flavor of marketing, but still today the major focus will be how to handle data. So, in your uh, files, you will see that there is a w1s5.r file. So, I have opened that particular file, which is a R file and you will see that uh, there is also a data file that has been given to you and that file is called samplehoteldata.csv. So, we will today deal with these two files. One is this w1s5, that is week 1 session 5.r file. So, I would suggest again keep your console clean, keep your global environment clean, leave whatever is there in the fourth quadrant and in your second quadrant where the editor is open only w1s5.4.r should be open, any other file should not be open at that particular part. So, when we are at this particular stage where uh, everything is clean, my console is clean, my uh, global environment is clean and uh, only this file is open, we can further work on it. So, let us start. So, as you know that the uh, file that we are working on is this sample hotel data dot csv. This is actually uh, more related to the kind of research work I do and I will try to show you that what this particular, this is a subset of the data that I have collected for one of my research work. So, this data looks like this and I will like a little bit make it a little bit bigger so that it can be seen and okay. So, now if you can see this, you will see that there this is a CSV file and there are lots of data rows that are available and probably a few columns are also available and before I jump into the data analytics of this particular thing, I would want you to want to explain to you what this data has. So, this data has been collected from uh, some uh, website which is uh, review website uh, where uh, uh, people actually post their online reviews. So, uh, it is a very popular review website and from where we have collected. So, there are around 40 randomly selected 40 uh, hotels and for each of the hotel we have selected some of their reviews probably almost all of their reviews till a certain point of time. And it was collected long back around, if I am not wrong, around uh, probably 5 years back. So, we have this data was collected and then lots of research paper has come up on this data. But I will focus on a simple problem here. So, when you post a review, if you know that ever, if you have ever posted a review or if you have ever seen a review that has been posted in uh, online, you will see that, that people actually post lots of stuff. They give a overall heading of the review and then the content of the review. Now, here we are not doing any kind of text mining at least in this class. So, I will not go into the table uh, heading content or the or that actual text content of the review. But along with that, you also give from 1 star to 5 star one kind some 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 quantitative uh, rating. And along with that, you also give along with the quantitative rating sometimes in some of the uh, review websites, people actually ask for uh, other attribute wise ratings as well. So, by attribute wise rating, I mean to say let us say value for money or location or, or uh, quality of the food, quality of the rooms and so on. So, this is this data set also has those kind of stuff. So, the, the first column is the hotel name, the second column is the overall review, review overall rating. So, this talks about the overall review the in a 1 to 5 point scale whatever you have given. Then the date in which the review has been posted, the month of visit in which month he has visited, the reviewer type whether he has visited uh, as a family or, or let us say with their business colleagues or with his spouse or solo even solo alone. And then there are 
six attribute wise rating that means with different aspects of the hotel you have given rating so value location probably sleep quality and then if you go ahead rooms and then cleanliness and service so these are the six aspects based on which people have given this rating and we have this data set so again i will ask you at this point please pause the video and probably before you go ahead in the video please pause the video and think probably for two three minutes that if this kind of a data set comes up to me what will i do with this data set but i let's say i am one of the hotel owners so out of these 900 something reviews that are there probably around 100 reviews are for me for my hotel so then if that is the case if let's say or around 50 reviews are for my hotels and that is the reviews that i've got then what will i do with this data set so you can think a little bit what you can do some of the possible options when i ask the same thing in my in uh, my class some of the earlier uh, answers that i've got from the students is that one hotel can know that what is his overall performance so what is overall performance he can get a probably all the so if there are 50 reviews and there is overall rating he can get a mean value of that rating so that will give him an idea that how much is the average and mean and standard deviation might be also there so that will give an idea that what is the average uh, satisfaction score of the people uh, regarding that particular hotel and they will also know that how that varies a little bit so then somebody might want to ask that okay so there every time when we try to create a marketing story there is a what there is a why and there is a how so the what part is given that okay I'm doing good or bad than the average so I can get my uh, hotels mean value I can get my competitors hotels mean value as well or even if if I do not get only the competitors I can get the overall industry average as well and then I can compare my overall performance with the industry average that is one step but that is the primary step that you have to do now let's say once I find out that and I found out that okay I am not doing very good I am doing a little bit lower than the average then comes that okay so if I am doing a little bit lower than the average why the next question is why why I am doing a little bit lower than the average obviously the second question so then you might be actually finding out all possible options which can actually leading to this thing so there are why scores available how so ideally ideally we also have six aspects if you have seen these are the six aspects based on which people also give reviews so either you are good in the six aspects or bad in those six aspects in comparison to your industry average or in comparison to the competitors so then question comes in that in which of the aspects out of these six aspects i am good and which of them i am bad so that might probably give you a little bit of hint about why you are performing bad if you find out that there are two aspects or three aspects out of those six where you are much lower than the industry average then they are the possible reasons now next comes how how means that should i improve if i aspect one aspect two and aspect three if these three aspects are doing bad which one will I improve and how will I improve? So this is a very classic problem. So this comes under the overall problem of resource allocation, which we'll do in a later class, a little bit of uh, service improvement, which also comes under the purview of operations and marketing together. Whatever be the case, it is A1, A2, A3 for an analytics point of view. This is A1, A2 and A3 and I want to know that which one I should focus more. Think about a situation. Let's say, let's say that there is, you are a student and you got around 63 as your overall score, 63 overall. And this overall score came up from, let's say quantitative ability and LRDI and English these are the three things that contributes to this 63 the overall average is 75 
and you did lower than the average. Let like us say you have you have done that. Now, quantitative ability you got 78, LRDI you got let us say 82, but English you got 54, something like that. And the average, the, in the, the, the average of other people in, in this group is let us say here it is 80, so you are a little bit lower than that. Here it is let us say 90, so you are still lower than that, but here it is let us say around I do not know let us say 69. So, if I ask you now that which one you should focus on, you see that here it is minus 2, here it is minus 8 and here it is almost minus 15. So, a common sense is that okay, I will focus on English because English is something what I am doing most bad in comparison to the average. But then some if I tell you that okay, the score is this score is calculated in a different way. This, when I calculated this score 63 and 75. I did not give equal weightages to all these three aspects. I gave let us say 60 percent to this somehow I do not know, let us say 30 percent to this and 10 percent to this, this might not add up to 63, but I am just saying that if the weightages are different, if the weightages are not same, then this distance alone does not say me anything. I have to also consider the weightages. So, in some way or other I have to find out these weightages, how much is the weight for the aspects that I have in my hand. The story does not end here as well. The story has a another line. So, let us say you find out that now based on this it is 60 percent, but you are almost closer to Q and A uh, quantitative ability. So, though it is 60 percent you will not focus on quantitative ability because the distance is very low. You might probably focus on LRDI because the distance is minus 8 and that has 30 percent inter importance. So, that has pretty good importance. So, you focus on LRDI, you decided that I will focus on LRDI. But then you came to know that till now you have not taken help of anybody in, in the exam preparations and you came to know that okay, you have a person in your family, let us say your younger, uh, your elder brother or elder sister or your father or mom who is a professor of English, who can actually help you in English very or, or any, any verbal ability very, very easily. He can actually contribute it very easily and you have not taken his help till now. On the other hand for LRDI, you have to go to a coaching center and you have to get, uh, you have to actually pay a lot of money to improve your score. In other words, I am trying to say that let us say improving English is easy and improving LRDI is a little bit tough. If this information comes in your hand now, then again the situation changes. You cannot only depend on this, you cannot only depend on this, then another variable comes into the picture which is the cost. So, that is how I am trying to create the story, there are lots of aspects in the story. Now, coming back to our problem, let us say I want to find out I am a hotel and I want to find out that out of these three aspects which one I should focus on. First thing is to know that which one I am doing worse, whether it is I am doing worse here or here or here, where the distance is higher that is the first step. The second step is that I have to find out which of this distance is more important than the other one, where I will focus more, where the customers who are giving review, if they are saying that I have got very bad review. 3 or 2 out of 5, why it is that? Is it they are giving more focus to sleep quality or they are giving more focus to let us say rooms or the location or the food, which one? I have to find out that. How to find out that? If you have done a little bit, if you think a little bit, you will understand that I my B column is my Y variable and column F to column K is my X variables and I can do a regression to find out that how these six aspects impact my Y variable. So, that is what we are at the end of the day going to do step by step with this data. So, in the first step what we will do is we will collect this particular data, read this particular data and then we will try to find out that what are the various things that I can do with this data, how I can find out a basic details about the data 
and then after that I will try to see that how people are giving different relative importance to different aspects, aspect 1, aspect 2, aspect 3 and so on, how they are giving different importance to different aspects. Then I might also want to know that let us say some people let us say in the, in the same example that I was talking about in this particular example where Q and A, LRDI and English is there, there will be some people who are from high quant background, they have studied in let us say, let us assume that they have studied in let us say engineering and, and probably the science subjects and etc. So, they are a little bit more quantitative oriented and there will be some people who will be not so much quantitative oriented. So, the guys who will be quantitative oriented will might give more weightage to Q&A and the guys who are not so quantitative oriented might give more weightage to English. So, if there are different people in the, in the, in the selection body who decides that how much weightage to be given to Q&A, LRDI and verbal ability, then the, the, the weightages given are also different for different kind of people. So, that is something is also an interesting story. So, for example, here if I know that out of the six aspects, I know that okay, service is more important, but if I by chance find out that for a customer who is traveling alone, service is not that important because he generally do not act, get take all those services, he just probably goes into the restaurant, eats, goes to the bar. Uh, ha have some drinks and then go back to his room that is all. On the other hand a person who is traveling with his friends or family will take lots of services, he will go, he will eat in the morning, probably go, go in the lunch because his kids want to have a little bit fun, his family members want to have a little bit fun. So, all the various aspects of the hotel like the, like the swimming pool and the, uh, and, and the restaurant and the free morning breakfast etc, etc, everything he will take. And that is why the service requirement is much more for him. If that is something that we can find out from this kind of a data, then that is also a new insight and that is also something that will help in for a marketer. So, given that as the background, I will start this particular coding. So, first job first. So, I will, I will go here and first thing I will do is I will to read a data set, I will set a working directory. So, I have kept this w1s5.r and my data set in the same folder. So, I can just go to session, working directory to source file location. That sets my working directory. Then line number 1, the data set name is sample hotel data dot csv. In the last video, I have shown you how to read and write a data set. So, I am reading a data set and I am saving the data set in the name of data, D A T A D capital. So, that is the data set. So, once you read the data set, the best thing to do is to see the structure of the data set. So, how to see the structure of the data set? The easy form uh, function is str and then within bracket data. So, the moment I see that, this is what comes up, the structure of the data set, the lots of things have come up and I will try to explain one by one what these are. So, at the first line it is saying that it is a data frame. So, whatever you told the, this guy is a data frame which has 942 observations of 11 variables. So, this guy has 942 observations that means 942 rows and 11 variables. Now, it is also giving me listing down the variable names. So, the first one is hotel name city, the second one is probably review overall rating and the third one is date of review, fourth one is month of visit and so on. And it is also telling me what are the various types of these guys. So, the first one hotel name city is a factor variable with 23 labels, 23 labels means there is actually 23 unique hotel names are there. Then comes the review overall rating that is in a 1 to 5 point scale you are giving overall rating that, so that is an integer variable. The date of review here it has been taken as a factor variable. So, if I want to do anything with this I have to change it to its date form and in a later class if it is required we will show you how to change 
affected variable to its date form if it is required, if it is a date actually. So, there is a function called as dot date. Uh, if you want to know now, you can go and search and find out how that works as dot date. So, fact it cannot change a factor variable directly. You have to change the factor variable to its character form and from the character form, you can change it to date. So, you have to first change it to as dot character and then you change it to character form and then as dot date. So, I would suggest you to just google it up and then and in a, in a different class if it is required, we will also show you. Then review type, review type is like there are five levels whether you are a visitor as a couple or visitor as a businessman or whatever and then these are the six aspects which are also there, they are all integers. So, next I, I have cleaned the console. Now, I also want to know the names, the column names of the data set. So, if I just run this line, it gives me the column names. These particular names within bracket data will come handy when you write the codes later. You see that there will be lots of codes that I will show you in the late, at a later point of time. You will see that uh, the codes are probably two, three sentences long. Now, I have not written those codes in one single line, one single go. I have, when I was writing the code, for this particular class, I was doing iterations, I was doing mistakes and whatever code you see is the final no mistake version of this particular thing. But ideally, it is it's an iterative process and you slowly learn how to code and you make mistakes and when you make mistakes, these small, small things like names of data and STR of data, these small things comes in and handy to find out what this particular mistake is. For example, these names within bracket data which gives me the column names will come in handy to know that which column number is associated with which column name. For example, rating service is 11th. This information will be needed when I go ahead at a later point of time and I will show you. So, that is why names dot data. Then head of data. So, head of data will actually print the first six observations, the top six observations. So, this is how it is looked like the first is hotel name city and like Bombay Hotel Jaipur and then coffee aroma resort Vayanar and then this is the first six overall rating, this is the first six dates, first six month of visit and so on. So, often times we also print it to see the data set. We can also see the data set by running the line number 8 view dot data or I can click on here, click here both will do the same job which will give me a spreadsheet like view of the data set. So, this is how the data set looks like. If you do not want to open in CSV file in your Excel, if there are lots of uh, ro rows, it is not suggested that you open in Excel. In that case, you will open here using few data set. Now, the question comes up, the first one is whether I am doing good enough or not, that is the first question. So, to do that, what will I do? I will find out the average of my hotel and average of all other hotels. Fair enough, average of my hotel and average of all other hotels, probably my competitor hotels. Here, the hotels were haphazardly corrected, so I do not know who is competitor of whom. So, I, we randomly selected around 40 hotels. So, all the hotels. So, we have done this in the last class how to summarize data. So, I see I am calling a library called dplyr, we have you have to install it if you is, it is not there and once you have actually installed it and, and it got you called this library dplyr, you have to go to summary 1, summary 1 is the name that I have given, summary 1 is equal to data this is the original data set and then this piping sign and then group by hotel name city. So, hotel name city is the first co column of your data data set. So, you are breaking the whole data set based on hotel name city. So, hotel based on hotel name you are actually breaking the whole data set and then in the next step you summarize the data you summarize the data in such a way such that OR is equal to summarize means a new data set will be created. 
the previous data set will not be appended with anything. A new data set will be created and where OR is equal to mean of review overall rating. So, what will it give? It will give something like this. So, let me just clean it up. So, what will it give? It will give something like this. It will first create a hotel name city and A1, A2, A3 are the hotel names let us say and then it will create a overall rating. So, a different this thing which is OR is equal to mean of overall rating. So, OR and it will actually if the A1 hotel has 10 reviews. So, those 10 reviews mean will come here. So, mean of overall rating of A1 and then mean of overall rating of A2 and mean of overall rating of A3 and so on that will come up here. So, that is something that I am expecting. So, if I just run this line you will get summary 1 which is exactly what I told. So, each of these hotels there are 23 hotels and corresponding overall ratings. Now, let us say I also I told that I also want to know that where I am doing bad, it is overall rating I am doing bad I understand, I my hotel is not up to the mark I understand, but why the question is why. So, then I have to, so in the previous lines I have added this part, only this part is what I have added. So, do not get scared there are 3, 4 lines, but do not get scared what do I have to do? Uh, over and above whatever I have done this OR is equal to mean of overall rating, then I wrote comma then VFM value for money. This is a new column again I am adding on the summary data set. So, VFM is equal to mean of rating value and why did I put comma NA dot RM is equal to true? Can do you remember? That is because that there are NA values. So, B, if this particular column has NA values then you cannot do mean because mean will give you not available. There are some missing values it will give you ok I do not know what to do with this missing values. So, ok no result. So, you have to write na dot rm is equal to true we did it in the last class. So, that means we have to remove the na value before I do the mean. So, here the first one is vfm which is mean of rating value which is value for money. Then loc, loc stands for location which is mean of rating location again na dot rm is equal to true and then service quality. RMA stands for I think rooms, CLN stands for cleanliness and SRV stands for service. So, all the six aspects I am finding out the mean and if I just find out the mean if I run this line number 1 to line number uh, 19 together I have to run because all of these things are in the same code. If I just run this I get a better version of summary. So, which has the hotel name and then there is overall rating OR and then there is all this rating. So, here I can probably a little bit sort them up also. So, here if I have sorted up based on the overall rating, I know that let us say this guy this this uh, scroll down version let us say this guy 2.85 is not doing good, but 2.85 is not doing good because of what? Be not because of location because location is pretty good enough, probably because of cleanliness. So, something like that a basic idea I sometimes get. So, what I will do in the next probably 2 minutes is that I will find out I will change this particular data to a data data frame form it is still in data frame form I am ensuring it that it is in data frame and then I am taking the 16th and 17th row of data frame. So, if I see the summary see somehow I find found out while I was creating this that 16 and 17 both are from route killer. So, by chance the two, two hotels that has been taken are from the same city. So, I am taking these two and they probably they are not their each other's competitor I do not know. So, it is it's just a dummy data set I am not trying to say anything about the hotels, but probably they are competitors. So, I will just collect this 16 and 17 and then so I am taking 16 and 17 as the row number nothing nothing after the comma means all the columns I am subsetting this data set. So, 
Now as I have subsetted this data set and I have only summary two where only two hotels are there. You will see the two hotels data is there. So I can know that okay which hotel is doing good, which hotel is doing bad. So as I was telling that if you want to compare with your competitors you can do that. And you can also create a bar plot for to do that. You can you can give a graphical view of that by doing a bar plot and that is that is the part that we will do in the next video. Thank you for being with me for the in this particular video and I will come back in a few minutes.